Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. I am Dr. Veena K, Assistant Professor in Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Today I am going to give you a small topic on cyber forensics. What is cyber forensics? What is the need for it? What are the advantages? Why in today's technology, why do we need this? So first is we will see what is the agenda of what is our today's lecture. So we, we are having the definition, importance of cyber forensics, then we are going to look into the need of cyber forensics, then process, skills and techniques involved, what are the tools used, what are the advantages. So first before we go into the definition of cyber forensics, so what is this cyber forensics? Cyber is something that is related to the computer something that is related to the information. What is this forensics? So forensics is something that is uh, which is uh, already some incident has taken place, you are going to make an analysis of it. So that analysis can be on a computer, on a device or anything. So that uh, incident has already occurred and then you are going to make an analysis of that. That is called as this forensics. So together cyber forensics is you are going to do our analysis on the cyber on this uh, on the computer and its devices. So first is our uh, the definition as per our uh, dictionary and all we can tell it as it is systematic extraction of data from electronic devices in order to gather evidence for a crime. So some crime has taken place. So if a crime has taken place, so after that what will happen? The people will tell I am uh, I am a victim of cyber crime, I have lost so many things, I have uh, lost my property, I have lost my image, I have lost my data, I have lost my money, they will say all that. So now how as a police what they should do is they should uh, give a solution to this. So what is the solution? The analysis has to be done. So while doing the analysis what you have to do is what they what is done is they will extract the details. So for what is that extraction? They should collect only the evidence that is required. So a crime has committed, so some incident has been occurred means during that time so all the evidence that is required for that particular crime to be proved only those evidence has to be collected. So now that is why we are telling systematic extraction of data from electronic devices. So again there are various methods of extracting these devices, extracting the data from the devices as also how it is extracted. So then afterwards you have to follow the protocols. So following the protocols of extraction. So if there are cyber forensic specialists are there. They even do not have the right to just go and start investigating a case. They just cannot come and order you do this, do that and all. So they also have to follow the protocols. Then only after following the protocols they will uh, extract all the data and then they have to give those evidence and then prove the crime in the court. That is why we tell it as you have to strict investigation protocols. Protocols. That is why we are telling it as strict investigation protocols. Then after that we can also tell that cyber forensics is also known as a computer crime. So now why we are studying this uh, cyber forensics and all is to further nowadays if you see means a lot of technologies developed in, in, in including all that a lot of crimes are being taken place. So these crimes have to be stopped. So people should be safe, their data should be safe. So the reputation of the persons all should be safe. That is why what is now as per today's technology what is done is so as soon as a crime is committed they try to extract they try to find out who the criminal is once the criminal is found out once he is snapped once he is punished further crimes can be reduced that is why th that is the most important need of this cyber forensics importance now coming to the importance of cyber forensics so as I already said effective investigation so the investigation should be done quick also. So investigation should be done quick so that persons involved in that particular crime, they have to be picked out picked out, and then they should be punished. A false person should not be called as a criminal. So only the persons that are involved in that crime, only those persons should be called and those persons should be punished. Punished. For that is why we tell it as effective investigation. That is why we call it as a effective investigation. Legal proceedings. So. After the investigation is done, all that is all that is the collected, all the evidence that is collected by this forensic specialist, what he has to do is he has to proceed, he has to give all these evidences in the court. He has to prove all these evidences in the court, he has to extract the information and what is required for all those things he has to, he has to give it as a hearing in the court. So all those comes under the legal proceedings. Then after this incident response, so we say that Prevention is better than cure. 
Okay. So, first is, so in today's technology for Siemens, every day we are getting the news that be aware of this, do not use, uh, uh, do not tell the OTP to the strangers, do not do this, do not do that. So, if we follow all the security protocols, then we will not be a victim of the cyber crime. Once we become a victim of the cyber crime, then after that, the, for, the investigation has to be done. Then after that comes the cyber forensics. So, that is why incident response, prevent the incident from taking place. So, next one is data recovery. So, all the data that is lost, it can be, it has to be recovered. Risk assessment. So, when data is lost, so what is method of taking back all that evidences? Next one is deterring cyber criminal activities that is stopping. So, the you cannot fully stop, you have to reduce that criminal activities can be reduced. That is the importance of cyber forensics. Next, coming to the need of cyber forensics. So, first one, it utilizes technology and investigative methods and then to identify, gather and securely store evidence from electronic device. First is you have to identify which evidence has to be taken, then you have to gather those evidence and then it has to be analyzed. Next one is it serves multiple purpose for law enforcement agencies. When some incident has taken place, it has to be proved in the court means all the legal proceedings has to be followed and it has to be proved in the court. Then after as usual present evidence in the court business and individuals retrieve the lost or damaged data. So, this is a person is victim of cyber crime, anyone can be a victim of cyber crime, a small kid, a old person, anyone, a educated person, uneducated, anyone can become a victim of cyber crime. So, once they become a victim of cyber crime, then there comes the uh, requirement for this cyber forensics. That is, an incident has occurred, how it has occurred, who should be punished, what is the method of extracting the data, how to solve the data properly in a soft, in a faster manner, all this has to be done. There arises a need for this cyber forensics. Next, what are the process involved in cyber forensics? So, first one is obtaining a digital copy. So, obtaining a digital copy. So, as soon as a cyber expert is extracting evidence, what he will do is that evidence it is it is uh, made a co um, copy of it is made and then handed over. The original copy is kept safely and only a duplicate copy of it is taken for the forensic analysis. That is why we obtain a digital copy of the system that is being or required to be inspected. Next comes is authenticating and verifying the reproduction. Now what I said is they are going to not, they are not going to do the forensic analysis on the original copy that is obtained, that is the uh, evidence that is obtained. They are going to do it on the copy of that. So the original copy will be handed over. So, a duplicate of that is taken. So, when a duplicate of that is taken, you should, the, the authority should authenticate that the duplicate copy is correct. That is why authentication and verifying the reproduction. That is, it is a real copy. It is, uh, it is uh, not, there is no any damage, there is no any uh, changes. All without the copy is original, then analysis can be done, then it has to be proceeded. That we tell it as authentication and verifying. Then afterwards, suppose whenever any persons will do the crime, they will usually try to delete the data. So, that data also can be can be recovered from this autopsy tool. That is a tool called as autopsy tool. Next one using keywords to find the information. So, with some keywords, some clues can be extracted and then you can you can find out. Then after finally establishing a technical report. So, all the investigation that is done, all the investigation that is done, that is put it as a document and then it has to be given in the court. So, finally, when a person has to, when a person, uh, when a person is said that he is a criminal, so he has to be, he, he has to be a punishment, then all the evidence has to be there. For that, you need the report. That is the documentation of whatever legal proceedings are being done. So, these are the various processes involved in cyber forensics. It involves a systematic process. That is a systematic process of all the things that are taking place. Next, skills needed to be a cyber forensic expert. So now, apart from knowing the technical knowledge, technical the technical facts, that today's technology, everything, he should also have a foreview of how he can extract things. So if I'm talking to a person, I should not only listen to what he is talking. I should try to extract what he is thinking to talk, what is there in his mind. Then only I can be a, ex, uh, be a successful cyber forensic expert. Then only I will be able to solve the crime in a proper manner. So, first thing, what, what is the requirement of a cyber forensic specialist is, you should understand the 
various technologies he should be educated he should have some basic qualifications he should know about the various technologies that are there he should know about the latest uh, technologies that are coming the technologies that was existing and then what are the methods uh, what are the views of uh, cyber what are the views a criminal will try to use what he will try to extract what he will do he should think in all those terms then only he can become a successful cyber forensic expert then only he can uh, solve the case also very very fast suppose he is taking a lot of time to just solve then by that time what will happen the victim a cyber crime victim he will go into his mental depression he has lost his data he has lost his money and all so something else he might do so so whatever it is it will mainly dependent upon the cyber forensic expert so he has to do he has to solve the crime he has to solve this in a faster way such that everything is done Every, the criminal is punished very very fast and further also it, sh it should be prevented the crime that is committed by the particular person should be prevented it should be stopped in the at the beginning so next again uh, we have to the, when the, the cyber forensic expert what he will do is he has to analyze the data so he has collected the data so if we just take a system as a evidence so i'll take one system as evidence means from that evidence lot of things are there i should know what is required for that particular crime for that particular time what is required only that evidence has to be collected after collecting that evidence it has to be analyzed after analysis he has to come to a conclusion how the crime has been committed what evidence can be given in the court so everything cannot be produced in the court so only what is only the evidence that can be proved someone as a criminal only those evidence that should be given in the court so all this all these are the requirements of a cyber forensic expert so what are the techniques involved so there are various techniques uh, for the extraction of this uh, cyber forensics so that is the reverse technography stochastic forensics then we have the cross drive analysis live analysis deleted file recovery then there are the various tools this i have just given you some 10 tools but now there are various tools so in there these are the various tools in which the forensic investigations can be done so first one is the wire shark then n map oxygen forensic suit sleuth kit sift volatility free hex editor neo mvt autopsy faw so these are the various uh, uh, tools that are available for a forensic investigator some of these tools are freely downloaded so some of these tools are freely downloaded and some of these tools are comes in the paid version so uh, even as a student you can download any of these softwares and then you can do the analysis so most of them you can if you just download wireshark you'll be getting a monthly package of one month so with that you can make the analysis just go through it just see the instruction just follow it. you can also do some analysis so now what are the advantages so advantages of the cyber forensics evidence preservation so what is the main reason of this evidence preservation is so today one criminal might have been booked he is punished so that case is closed after 20 years that case may be reopened so when the case is reopened even after 20 years the same evidence only has to be given so the evidence has to be proved the evidence has to be preserved it has to be preserved in a effective manner so that even after 20 or 30 years that evidence can be taken out that is the case can be reopened that is why at that time that evidence has to be taken out and has to be given in the and it has to, and the hearing has to be done then after this investigation of complex crimes so proactive threat detection incident response that is i already said prevention is better than cure see to it that you don't become a victim of the cyber crime intellectual property protection is a legal compliance enhancing cyber security measures collaboration with law enforcement agencies now coming to this point enhancing cyber security measures so now if today's world in today's technology for siemens the crimes are increasing when the crimes are increasing what the government organizations try to do is they try to cut down on this crime that is taking place so they are involving new technologies they are developing new technologies so now they are also developing new technologies the criminals also developing new technologies so this is like going in a like a, like a, just like a war it is going on so first thing is better is don't be a victim of cyber crime so you know all the rules and all it is so first follow all the protocols follow all the protocols see to it that you don't become a victim because once a victim once you become a victim of cyber crime again coming out of that it's a trend it is a very difficult process so i hope this lecture this video was uh, useful to you so then thank you then